Hey guys, this is Mac Kids and One. Um, today this video is going to be on SSH. Now, someone asked me what SSH was, and I decided I'd explain it. Most people use SSH as a tool they call hacking, where basically they can connect to your computer and with a password they can log in and do stuff through terminal. Um, SSH is a bit more than that, and I'll explain what it is. First of all, SSH stands for Secure Shell, and um, it's basically um, a way to connect to a computer. It runs over port 22, if you know what ports are. Okay. So, um, SSH, normally in terminal, if you type SSH, SSH space, say, Alex at 192.168.1.103, and then you type the password, you'll be able to type terminal commands on my other computer. Well, SSH is more than that. First of all, secure, in secure shell. It doesn't mean that for some reason that, that it's password protected or anything like that. It means that the data you send over is encrypted. Normally, when you're FTPing to your website, your password is set out in plain text over the internet to your website. But if someone intercepted your packets of, um, of data set back and forth, um, they would be able to steal your password. And that's very unsecure. Secure shell, it's impossible to do that, and all your data is encrypted before it's even sent off your computer. So that's 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 very secure, and it's just great to be able to do that. Um, another thing that Secure Shell has, which is great, is a file transfer thing. So if in terminal you type SCP Alex at Alex T two or Alex at one nine two dot oops dot one oh three tilde slash log on dot PHP to dot slash desktop that would copy over securely encrypted a file so it has a file transfer protocol that allows you to transfer files and that that's just great because um that way you can send a file back and forth between your computers so secure shell in every way is not a way to hack a computer it's not hacking at all it's only it only works if you have a password. But um, SSH is um, nice. And now I'm going to show you how to enable or disable SSH to your computer. Open up System Preferences. Go to Sharing. And now click the lock and type your password because you need to have administrative access. Then under Remote Logon or Login, right now I have this checked. You can uncheck that. And now, now it's off. If you check that, now it's on. Now, the way SSH works is you have a remote IP address, which people can connect to and log in with. And in this case, it says 192.168.1.117 right there. And it'll say your username at in that. So if I want to connect to the user Mac and one on this host, which happens to be my IP address, I would just in terminal type SSH space Mac and one at 192.168.1.117 and then I type yes and then I type my password and I'd be connected now SSH when you connect you have access to the shell which is terminal basically and if you SSH to a Mac like I did in this um, you can of course type say hi hi and it'll make their computer speak um, but if you connect to a Linux computer or something other than a Mac, you can also have an S SSH set up on a PC, I believe, or on any real platform if you can make SSL, which is the encryption type work. Um, you can SSH, and I actually have a Linux computer, which is 192.168.1.103, and with this, you can... Uh, my Linux computer is standing right next to me, but it, it has a different version of Say that I made which um, doesn't actually speak it echoes it to the console so but it's it's a way to access terminal basically on another computer or copy files with SCP so that's how to use SSH that's what it is um, if um, so it's it's a way to log into another computer remotely over port 22 and everything is encrypted and so that's what SSH is just people wanted to know so um, I hope it answered your questions and goodbye.